Yo! Fuck it. Oh my god. God. Okay. Now, it is Smithers R. Motherfucker. Oh! Here to give you motherfucking Kami Sama no Inai Nichi Yubi. Nichi Yubi. Kami Sama no Inai Nichi Yubi. Episode 1. God, I thought this anime season was gonna suck. Previews, this thing didn't look very good. But, oh my god! I'm already telling you right now, right now, good, it's good, oh my god, episode one, god, okay, fuck, let's, let's break right into this shit, okay, so basically the premise of it is basically heaven and hell is overcrowded, like they're, they're in the beginning there's like God created the world, and then God did this, God explored the world, and then God rested, and then basically God's forsake the world. That's, that's basically the whole premise of this shit. Uh, basically, it's like this. The dead, because heaven and hell is so overcrowded, the world that they're on, the dead, their heartbeats may stop, but they don't pass on. Like on some zombie shit, but not like brains. No, none of that. Not yet. Not that we have seen it. Basically, when you die, your heart's nothing beating anymore, and you're basically forced to roam the world forever. And then in comes the job of the gravekeeper. It's their job, basically, to bury you. And after they bury you, they basically use, like, a seal. I think they called it a barrier. And it releases your basic soul so it can pass on. Now, yeah, it was amazing. Animation was good. And basically, this main character is this little girl. Fuck her name. Her name. I'm not into it that much yet, so I can't really remember her name. And her mother died, and her mother's name was Anne. And she had to bury her. And I'm on some real shit. That was fucked up. Making a little girl bury her own mother. Like, literally dig the hole. in everything. And basically, there's... I'm not gonna, like, go through scene by scene. I'm just gonna show you what I thought was fucking amazing. And then after that, there's a scene. Around in the... Not the... Around the middle... She's like, I'm done for the day. I built enough graves for every single villager. We're equal 47. That, that's important. Why? Because when she's walking back to the village, nobody's there to greet her like they usually do. And they offer a treat and say, good job, great keeper, good job. And then she goes exploring around. She runs into this motherfucker. God, his name is unknown yet. But he clearly stated that himself... He was, I'm, I'm trying to remember this, Hump, Humpney Humpet, in, yeah, Humpney Humpet, some shit like that, and he said it was his name, she's like, that's the name of my father, you must be my father, I always thought that he would be coming here screaming battle cries, and then there's a little scene, this random motherfucker. And he was like, there's a fucking like dragon, like hydra thing, like a snake. And he just had a fucking chain gun, he was shooting at it. I, and then he's like, are you fucking serious, Uncle? You actually be like this? There's a name like that out there? Oh my god. And then, this is what happens next. Basically, he's following her, asks her questions, he asks her questions about, like, some person that we don't really know of yet. And basically, this thing is so badass. So badass. They're in the village. And everybody's dead. Like, just, like, pan around. Everybody's fucking dead. This nigga. 
But he doesn't say he killed them. He says, nope, I didn't kill all these people. And, oh my god, it's, it was good. So good. So one, get you hooked. Now, this way. Basically, they're there. All of a sudden, this motherfucking villager, who, who, who always greets her, he starts walking up. Half of his fucking face is gone. Like, literally, half of his fucking face is gone. She's seeing this shit. So he's basically, I'm dead right now. This motherfucker, he's hiding in a fucking building. He's like, get away from me, you monster. I'm not a monster. And pushes her down. And you think he's about to kill her. No. All of a sudden, like, bullet. Like breaks his window or a rock or something. I don't know because I didn't see him have a gun. But maybe he had a gun. I'm not sure. Maybe it was a motherfucker in the building. We still don't know his name yet. I'm the nigga from the series. And he's basically like, you got three seconds before I spend I send a hail of thirty bullets at your ass. I'm like, oh shit. And he said in your direction. She was in his direction. And so he's like, three, two, and this nigga real quick. Fucking oh, protecting her. And I like that. Even though he was undead. Maybe maybe there's something with like when they're undead before, before a while they lose themselves. And they become like motherfuckers that just want to kill and kill and kill. And basically stay fucking Uzi. Oh my god, who's Uzi, who's a Uzi, who's a Uzi, who's like fuck that shit. Pistol. He's done. Head gone. He's like, don't worry. I blew off the heads of everybody else. I'm like, oh shit. Oh shit. This nigga's, this nigga's hard. He's fat ass. And then he's like, then, then he's like, he's fucking attacking my shovel. And then it's like, whack. And then it's nighttime. She wakes up. And then he's like, I got it. She walks outside. He's like, bullshit. He's like, why the fuck? Why the fuck did you kill everybody? Everybody's gone, of course. And then, this is what happens, man. This key shit that happened at the end of this shit. At the end of the episode. He's like, I have a task for you or a job. They go up the mountain in the graveyard. Every single fucking slot's full of a dead body. This nigga like, I think and then put all that shit, but she was knocked the fuck out. My God. And then after that, after that, some, some good shit happened. Some really good shit. He, he basically buries everybody. And as he goes down, he's like, basically, I'm just like, why the fuck did you do this? Who are you? And this nigga, like, fuck the dialogue. Fuck it. It was amazing. I was blown away by this shit. Like literally I was just like oh, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Anyway. He says, You're not a grave digger. You're not a grave keeper. Yeah, not grave digger. Grave digger's a fucking monster truck and all types of other shit. You're not a fucking grave keeper. You are a human. I don't know what these villagers are telling you or trick you into believing that you are a human. And then it got me thinking. It's like, and now I'm thinking, but before I say that, then it's like, that's a grave digger. And you look, and it's this girl. And it's her name's Anne. And it's her fucking mom. She has a shovel. She looks all like fucking. Blue pimped out. He's about to go through the corner and collect for some holes. Like, oh shit! Oh my god, it's amazing. It's good. It's good. I'm about to say amazing. Say good. You don't like it? You don't like it? I don't see why you wouldn't like it. But you don't like it? You don't like it? I'm not gonna be one of those motherfuckers that's like pushing my opinion on people. I'm just gonna give you my opinion on this shit. My opinion on this shit. Good animation. Fucking good. It was a little slow, I'll give it that. But it was a good slow. Two days happened in a span of 21 minutes, so I'm going to say good. I'm going to say good. Dialogue was pretty good. And there's, okay, now I'm basically going to break down some shit that I, like, which is weird that he said. 
basically the first one was the, ch the couple that took her in. They brought up something about she. It's really rare for us to have a child in this day and age. Think about that. And you saw no other kids there. And then when he says you're a human, you're not a grave digger, and that's a grave digger. Great keeper. It just got me thinking about all this other shit. It just all like are forming together. But this isn't that one piece. Next fucking episode. It's like, what if this is a fucking world? Everybody's like, everybody in that village, I'm thinking, was undead. And they tricked this girl into believing that she was. A gravekeeper, but she was actually human. I don't know why? That's what happened. That's what they did. I don't know if they're all were undead or not. What if she's like one of the last humans? Why what else is undead? Because there weren't enough grave gravekeepers. There weren't enough. Because if you don't get buried by a gravekeeper, you're fucking undead for the rest of eternity. And since there were no kids, I presume undead can't fucking have sex. I have kids. So much shit. shit. We find out that that humper net hump bullshit. Yeah, that hump hump. Fuck it. I'm calling hump hump. Fuck it. Hump 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 hump. hump. Fuck it. Anyway, that hump hump stuff. It was actually a toy, and her mother tricked her. Fuck it. The next reviews of the shit, next reviews, because I'm reviewing the shit. Hell yeah. I'm reviewing this shit. I thought this anime season would be fucking bad. No. And it shows enough. And it shows enough. Fuck it. This shit. Amazing. Amazing. I'm gonna review this shit. Since it's episode one, I'm not gonna be on the shit like I am with all my other fucking reviews. Just like other ones. Episode one, I'm basically gonna give you my opinion. After that, it's fucking review mode. I watch the shit. I watch the shit. Bitch, put your thing down. I'm good. Fuck it. Fuck it. I'm not gonna tell you anymore how I do this shit. Cause I do this shit my way. Fuck it. Fuck it. Good. Fuck it. I'm giving this 8 out of 10. Good. Really good. It's so good. So, so, so good. 8 out of 10. Fuck it. I'm out. God, if there's anything else like these two fucking good ones I've seen so far, because fucking God world only knows fucking high school DAD hasn't even come out yet. All the other shit. God, it's been Smithers are giving you his fucking review of this shit. I'm out. Fuck it. Peace. Fuck it, I kiss shit. That's what I do. Fuck it, I'm, I'm, anyway. Peace out. Fuck it. I'm not gonna say comment, like, subscribe anymore. Fuck it. Comment, like, subscribe only goes on. Leaving six videos a week. And this ain't gonna be one of them. Fuck it. Peace.